You're watching News 10 First at Four. The decade of the 60s was a revolution in American society in more ways than one, and television played a major role during those changing times. As News 10's Edie Huggins reports, many of the hit shows of the 60s provided Americans with wonderful entertainment, while other broadcasts brought the turbulent events into our living rooms with terrifying reality. Laredo, where men were men and women were glad of it. Look out, watch out. Stay cool. The monkeys is coming. It was the somewhat psychedelic world of television in the 60s, going where viewers and technology had never gone before. For the first time, television news brought the stark reality of world events right into our homes. We were very much sheltered before the 60s, and the 60s started to give us, through television news, the exposure to what was happening in the rest of the country and the rest of the world. But television pioneer Lou Fryman says while news reflected those turbulent times, television programming aimed to distract us from our problems. On the pleasant side during the 60s, television brought to us a wonderful world of entertainment. Well, all my friends have seen me in them. But then get yourself a new set of friends. <laughs> to help us laugh and forget. Networks offered up programs like Lucy, Ed Sullivan, and Bob Hope. But here in Philadelphia, programming seemed to center more around children. Local stations packed the airways with shows like Pixan. Hi, I'm Pixan. And Bertie the Bunyip for little kids. Let's go to the to American Bandstand for the teenagers. Baby, let's go to the this photo shows just how rich the Delaware Valley was when it came to children's television. Stars like Rex Morgan, Sally Starr, Gene London, Lorenzo the Clown, Ronald McDonald, and this man. That was me, Matt. Wee Willie Weber. Wee Willie's Breakfast Time ran from 1953 to 1963. There were no costumes for Wee Willie, just a memorable name and cartoons for the kids. I'm a famous white whale man. Wee Willie Weber, uh, Astro Boy, the Eighth Nan, uh, all these great cartoons. He um, kept my children busy many a morning. Can you remember? Yes, I do remember him. <laughs> Giving my age away. By the mid 60s, Wee Willie switched stations and started the Cartoon Club. The show ran three hours a day, five days a week. Spider Man, Spider Man, friendly neighborhood Spider Man. And we had Eighth Man, and we had the Tobar, and we had Spider Man. Wee Willie then switched from cartoon host to game show host. And even though his ratings for Tug of War were great, the quiz show didn't last long. His boss had some bad news. First of all, he walks in and he says, I'm going to have to let you go. I said, why? He said, there's a fella named Mike Douglas who's coming in from Cleveland. They've asked us to clear noon to 1.30 for the Mike Douglas show. And that's, that's that. Well, Wee Willie is still going strong. He can be heard on WPEN radio every Saturday morning. And as for the man who replaced Wee Willie, Mike Douglas, will update you on his life and his career tonight on News 10 at 6. Live in the News Center, I'm Edie Huggins, News 10. Next on News 10 at